So I'm working on this old box again. I want to wax it and clean it up, bring it back a little bit. But there's a huge, not huge, but there's quite a big dent here. I don't know if you can see it with the, the lighting. Um, but from what I understand, you can, uh, dents in general are basically under stress. The, the, the metal's been pushed in a certain way. So if I can make the tension work in my favor, it'll pop out. It's not that deep, but it's, it's you know, it's not a little ding. Um, you know, it's an old box. It's got a bunch of other issues. But everything works. It's just, you know, that's a big dent, and it's right in the very front. So it kind of irritates me. <laughs> so I'm going to try to set up something here where I can uh, pound on the, on the front, which will push the tension from the outer edge to help pop this out. I hope that's my plan. We'll see. <laughs> Also use as a thing to spread out the, the load, the force. But if you just feel, you can feel like where it's obviously going in, right at the ridge between the the flat part where it's fine, and it, where right where it drops in, you can feel there's a ridge there. And I believe right on that ridge is where the tension is. Um, so that's where I'm going to try to hit first to uh, see if I can pop it out, basically. There's many ways to, to get there's many ways to get the uh, dents out depending on whatever you're doing on a car and you know it doesn't have to be just a box but in, on this case this is one way of doing it and I'm gonna try another way if this doesn't work. Obviously, there's a good chance you're going to fuck up the paint. So don't be upset about the paint if you're... Um, don't, don't do this if you're, if you're worried about the paint. That's why I'm doing this before I do the cleaning and waxing. It actually feels a little, sh a little sh more shallow. It actually feels like it is popping out. Now another th thing I was thinking about trying is just to do this and hammer it to, to so that it'll kind of hit this whole area at one time and hopefully pop that out. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Here I'm going to hit fairly hard. Don't worry, I'm going to turn the volume down in, in the editing so we don't go deaf. Not sure if that made any difference. Let's just say it's exactly the same. <laughs> Let's pretend it's totally ineffective. Yeah, it might, might not be the right tool. Uh, but I'm, instead of that little hammer, I got a, a little bit bigger hammer. This is a uh, 16 ounce. Part of the problem is this is, you know, loose stitches. It's in the box, the drawers are out, so it's just an empty hole behind it. And by the way, the reason I can't do it from behind, obviously, that would be the best way, is because I'll show you in, in a second, or maybe I'll put a picture here. There's another plate behind it, which is kind of reinforcing it, making you know these old snap on boxes super tough. It covers up this back, so there's basically another sheet of metal, but it's, it's stepped off, it's like connected, folds out, back around, and then comes up and this is covering this area so you can't get to it. You'd have to like drill a hole in that to get to this.
that's better it's clearly better so that kind of worked actually I can see it's a lot, a lot better let's see if I can show you better I don't know try to give you a little different perspective Now there are proper tools for this. <laughs> this is not the right tool, but it's what I got. Like I said, I could also try to use this board for this smaller part now, now that it's a smaller dent. Not sure if that was effective. Like the theory might be there, but I'm not doing it right. It feels almost a little shallower. I'm gonna try this because I think this is working better than this with a block. Although it is, it is a lot better. It's definitely a lot better than it started out. It's a lot better. It's fucking the paint up more now. Amazing how tough the paint is actually considering not just me banging on it but through the years etc you find some of these boxes and it's like they, you know there's amazing amount <laughs> amazing amount of paint on there even if it's uh, beat up from 30 40 50 years this is from 55 this box I believe it's over here somewhere this one yeah 55 so, uh, what is that? Well, let's pretend it's 50. So 50 to 2,000 is 50. Plus 20 is uh, 70. Uh, minus 5. So it's 65 years old. Because it's 55, not 50. So it's 65 years old, and the paint, you know, looks like it's in decent condition. These should have lasted a lot longer. You know, people are supposed to take care of them, not just leave them out in the backyard for 30 years. Yeah, that's a lot smaller, I can tell. I don't know if I can get that out. This way, I mean. Maybe I can try the smaller hammer now. And I have a bigger hammer, too. <laughs> if need be.
That's a lot better. Jesus, that's a way better. This little hammer really came in handy. Yeah, this really makes me appreciate body, body guys, body or people. It could be a woman, <laughs> but uh, they they got to be some kind of artists, men and women who do this work. If you really just do it with a hammer, you know, you really are getting the feedback from what's happening here, what you can tell, what's what, how you understand the metal, and then how you hit it to uh, make it pop back out. That's that's more than science. There's some art there if you do it right, if if you're really good at it. There's technicians, there's craftsmen, and then there's artists who do this. Or even creating the panel in the first place, for that matter. You know, the, the fender or whatever. I'm not even a technician, I'm just an amateur. I just read a few things and said, let me give it a try. I have no idea what I'm doing. Now it's just a minor dent. That made a huge difference. I can still see the shadow where the paint's dirty and but it's a lot better. Is there another one? No, it's just this one. Yeah, it is a little dent. Now I'm looking with the light, I can see all these little dents. <laughs> just using the uh, what I can see, what I can feel. A lot better. It's almost, it's not unnoticeable. It's, it's not gonna be that good, but it's way better than it was. I think I might leave it around there. I'll try this one more time. See what happens. Oh, I broke the block. <laughs> Oops. That's what sort of scrap blocks for. Okay. Oh, my back. My back started hurt. So let's leave it there for now. Maybe we'll come back tomorrow. Check it again. See how I feel about it with better light in the daytime. try it again and uh, this time there's another technique I, I got it to the level I got it last time this is the next day and the other technique is to heat up the area whatever the metal is um, and then uh, where the dent is and then put something cold water or ice which I brought with me now to uh, on top of the dent and it should contract which might help pop it out We'll see. I still have my uh, little hammer, and uh, I'll see if I can get that block of wood again. Piece of that wood. And we'll see if it'll 
bang it out, pop it out basically is, is the idea here. So first we start with heating it up, which is the this thing here. The only extra trick thing is to be careful of is that uh, you don't want to, in this case I have paint which I'd like to keep. If you're going to do this on a raw piece of metal it won't matter. Obviously I don't want to destroy the paint because it's right in the front and that's the same as this dent. There's also another dent in the back but it's not, it's kind of like big uh, creases and it's not really that bad in a way. It's not one giant dent. But I don't care that much about those. Those are in the back. I probably won't see them very often. So I have it set on high. I have it set on, uh, I guess one, I guess 950 is what it says. Let's see how that works. Oh, that's warm. That's definitely hot. So let's cut a piece of ice here. The water got fa hot fast. <laughs> it's hot water now. It's not hot, it's warm water. That's funny. Let me start do this one. I guess I don't need the heater. Seems a little shallower. Yeah, I think it did, something happened. It, it improved for some reason. Don't know why. Try it one more time, and then I might just call it good because it is actually a lot better. And you know, there's a lot of little dents. I'm not going to fix everything here. I just wanted to make the worst one right in front. Improve that, you know, improve the one that's the worst. It's hard to tell what it, what's happening now because it's so hot. I can't touch it. Yeah, it's sort of right, right in here, dropping in. Okay, another one here. Boom! Right in the middle.
think we did it extra long though. This thing has to uh, wind down before it comes up. Wipe it clean with this dirty rag. <laughs> but I think it's a lot better. I think it's a lot better. I don't know if it was the ice or more banging or, or what happened, but but it's flat here, and then it wants to drop in right right here. Yeah, this feels sort of feels like it's sloping in, but I can't. I'm not positive. Well, yeah, this feels actually flat going across there. It's like right here I start to feel a little bit of a dip, and right around here it starts to drop in. So the the overall damage is the same probably it's probably dented the same area it but it's not as deep it's popped out more so it's a shallower dent basically but that's a lot better I think I can live with that one small that's like still the worst one but it's a lot less bad and uh, you know I don't want to destroy the thing I just want to get it working I was, I'm, in other words if I was going to repaint everything and completely re restore it to, to brand new then I would care about that. Since I'm going to keep the same paint, I'm just going to clean up the, the rust and get it back to work. You know, it's going to get scratched up again anyway. I mean, I'm going to end up denting it and, scrap, you know, doing something to it. So it doesn't need to be perfect just so that I can be mad when I fuck it up again <laughs> myself after all the work of fixing it. So that's all right. This is not as, it's just, it's, it's basically, it's better than it was. That's, that's, I'm happy with that. All right, so that's how I did that. Oh yeah, there's another thing I want to show you. Okay, so I'm gonna try one more thing before I call it a wrap, and uh, so try something different here. Uh, what I understood I, again, I was talking about the tension. You can see it's you know still there. There's a small one here, but I thought about instead of pounding all around, I should actually hit with uh, two hammers. To try to, for, to try to force the energy into this little area and hopefully cause it to pop up. So we'll try that for a little second here. Let's see what happens. So I got my bigger, heavier 40 ounce, and I think this is a 32 red blow, yeah, plastic uh, soft hammer. So this is the same weight as the other one that was looked like this, but this is and this is a heavier version, 40 ounce. So let's see what happens. Now I gotta stand so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so there's the there's the dip. Let's see what happens here? I'm gonna try wide. Because it, it almost feels like it's a shallower crater, but I'm trying to force everything into the center. I'm not sure I see a big improvement there, so we might just leave it as it is. Like I was checking these these um, chips here, that was like where I can see it beginning to fall in. I think before it was actually higher, so they did improve this much, but I can't seem to get this last little thing out here. Back here, there's nothing to measure against, so it's, you have to really go back and look at the footage. But uh, it is better than it was for sure. 
It's definitely not as deep as it was. more paint there. That's gonna get any better. See, trying to bring it down here. Maybe it did get a tiny bit better. It's still dented, but it's not as deep. It's not as sharp. And this overall feels flat, and then it kind of starts to drop in. The only other thing I can think of was a really strong magnet to like suck it out or a suction cup, which I don't have. We'll see if that ever happens. You can see I'm hitting it quite hard. And uh, not budging. But also with these flat surfaces of the hammers, the hammer faces, you know, if you're careful, you're not hitting the corner. This hammer has actually a rounded corner. This is obviously plastic, soft, so. Then you can do this, you can apply quite a bit of force without worrying too much about destroying it, but you don't want to destroy. I don't want to make more dents, you know, I'm trying to get, get these out. I'm not trying to add more. Chipped up paint and all that, that'll be, it's already chipped. You know, I'm not going to repair these things. Uh, I'm just going to clean them up. So this is more to clean up and polish up, that's fine. So in this case, it's fine for me. If you're working on a fancy a fancy expensive something you know this might not be the, the technique for you especially if it's after an expensive paint job my neighbors are probably like oh my god this guy he's the worst drummer in the world <laughs> what is that some kind of Kyoto war drums <laughs> I saw my own shadow. <laughs> I was like, who's that? <laughs> right next to me. <laughs> That's hilarious. I almost had an accident with myself. <laughs>